Hey Virgo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your yearly prediction for 2021. That what you can expect from this year in your love, career, overall growth in your life for this year. So keep it in mind, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading from me. If you want it, check out the description box for all the detail. You can also contact me and join me on Instagram for more fun of these readings. So any planets if you have in Virgo, you can watch this reading. If it's resonated with your situation, give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel if you did not already. Let's see what's happening. So finger crossed, let's see what you can expect from this year. What is happening for you guys? What changes, what unexpected things that and turn around events for you in this uh, year happening for you. Let's see. So we have the 11th house. This is good. You could be dealing with Aquarius. So 11th house is all about, wow, Chiron. Okay, so a lot of you, you this is the year is the healing for you, Neptune. Oh my goodness. Hmm. One zodiac sign. Very good. Here you go. You are here. So this is a year about you. You. So I'm hearing that you're going to be... Um, you could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another Virgo maybe, and we have the Aquarius card here. So this is the year, this is all about you. You're going to create the destiny for yourself. You're going to uh, heal yourself. You're going to create um, new things for you. I feel like this is a year that you're going to be manifest a lot of things, risk taking, I'm hearing, Neptune. So this is like illusions for you. Whatever illusions are right now and going on in your life, you're not clear about things. This is the year that you're going to be more, um, you know, live in these fantasies, you're going to heal something. But I'm also seeing with this Neptunic energy and with the Quran, this is like spiritual healing. This is a year that you're going to connect with the spirit, gods, your angels. You're going to find uh, healing for yourself if there is some unfinished business from the past. You're going to heal. You're going to cope those things. Uh, you're going to work on this. It could be childhood trauma, family issues, your own personal healing issues, something with the mental or physical health also. You're going to heal that this year. This year is definitely you're going to blossom. Some of you, you could be a healer, uh, you could be therapist, you could be psychiatrist, you could be in this field of things to help helping other people, to healing other people. You could be a light worker. So this is a year that definitely a lot of wishes will come true for you with this 11th house here, right? Definitely I'm hearing the word cosmos. So you're going to connect with the cosmos. There will be a lot of things will happen that is written on the star for you, that is destined for you. Yeah, cosmos granted wishes. Wow, love it. You may be going to make a lot of friends this year or just, um, yeah, I feel like you're going to release the toxic people from your life this year. You're going to be with people who are just good for your health, your mental health. They are healing for you. They're going to be good for you. This is what you're going to do. You're going to eat healthy, live healthy. You want to create, the, you just definitely want, it's like you want mental peace. A lot of you, you could be struggling with this, sleeping issues, mental issues. Maybe financial issues, that's why you're disturbed. You're mentally disturbed recently, I feel here. Or maybe this pandemic situation definitely uh, caused a lot of issues on your health, mental or physical or financial issues created in, create in your life. And in this year, definitely you're going to get those wishes to come back. Your life will be keep going. We have the winner loss, five of swords, number five. It's definitely uh, something is here that, yeah, I told you, you're going to lose the people who are not good for you. And you're going to win the people who are just for you. That's what I'm hearing here. You don't want drama anymore. You don't want to deal with drama. You don't want to be with people who just don't want to be with you. Or they're creating the mess in your life. Yeah. You just want to release that. We have fear. Yeah, a lot of you, this is definitely anxiety, depression, mental health issues again coming up. Some things definitely happen. Some of you, this is your fear stopping you to do something, to create something. But you're going to do something unconventional. Getting out of your comfort zone, I'm hearing. Because this is a win-or-loss situation. This could be in love matter or career matter. Definitely, it's like you need to follow your dream. You need to follow your wishes. And because of that, you need to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, a lot of you, if you're introverted because you're known for that. But you, in this year, you're going to be like, no, I have to do this. Yeah, you're going to do something different, like you're clubbing, you're partying, you're having fun. If you are introverted uh, Virgo, you're going to be an extroverted Virgo in this year. So this is this looks good. You're definitely going to do the things that you never did. Yeah, it's like, um, you know, creating your fantasy, your dream into reality. But you will have the fear of, you know, doing like 
I don't know if I can do it or not because you will definitely question your worthiness on this. But a lot of you, you're choosing yourself this year. You're nurturing yourself. You're loving yourself. You're getting out of these fears, this, this, um, these issues that definitely cause this stress in your life, that cause a um, lot of drama in your life. And you're definitely not going to be like that. You're, you're definitely going to see your worth, your value in this year. And you're going to make the boundaries with people. We have codependency issues. Yeah, you could have codependent issues, uh, codependent relationships, maybe something from the family. And you're going to break this pattern. Yeah, you're going to break this pattern. Deception. Yeah, oh my God, you've gone through a lot. If this is a love matter, you could be dealing with someone who is codependent and deceptive. And you're going, you have a fear like, I don't know what is going to happen. They could be far from you. They could be from different background. That's why your fear is causing it. But you're going to choose yourself. Some of you, you got cheated on in the past relationships, in previous relationship. Or maybe right right now, you are in a codependent, a very abusive, mentally abusive relationship with, with someone that you're not happy. I would say mentally abusive relationship. You could, you could be deal, dealt with people who are narcissistic to you, in your family, in your friends, your work situation, in your love matters, in your marriage partnerships. So this is causing you. And you're going to release that pattern. This is what your mission is. Yeah, you're going to find your true love. So a lot of you, I'm hearing that you're going to say that my true love is me. So you're going to find the love is within yourself. You don't need anybody. You want you. You deserve you. You're saying, I need me. I want me. For others of you, you're going to find your true love. You could have some past life connection with this person. But that person is maybe right now deceptive and codependent. They could have affairs to be with you because they could be are not they, they could be feeling like they're not good enough there's definitely a lot of conflict here between you and this person but i feel like it will be healed between you and this person yeah it will be healed in this in this um in this year like everything will be fall apart for you on the right place on the right time i'm hearing yeah luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius a lot of you sagittarius as you know that so this could be a long distance travel um, long distance connections or maybe you're going to travel a lot this year this is also Sagittarius is a sign of spirituality so a lot of healing recovery some of you this could be a new love because I'm seeing the Cupid arrow strikes you're going to meet someone new who will be lucky or bring the luck in your side yeah you're going definitely going to find true love this year or maybe if you're already with that person you're going to be in union with this person because luck is on your side because you are going to realize that yes I deserve this love you're definitely going to feel the worthy of this love. You're like, okay, my dream or my fantasy is coming true. Yeah, a fiery climax approach, full moon in Aries. So you could be dealing with Aries or Sagittarius. Or something have, around will happen in Aries or Sagittarius season. There's a lot of fire here. So there's a lot of passion here. So this year is all about passionate things, passionate new beginnings, passionate work. You're really passionate and excited about new things or will be. There's definitely something that you're closing the chapters and you're starting something new. A fiery climax approaches for something. Yeah. You're definitely going to complete some um, projects. You're going to be successful. Or maybe there is something that you're saying that now is the time. Win or lose. That's it. You're saying to this person or you're going to say to yourself, like, this is the time. Win or lose for me. Yeah, let's see from uh, tarot now lovers okay we have true love and lovers could be dealing with gemini yeah you're going to meet your soulmate your twin flame this year or if you're already in with this person you are in separation there is there is a deception here but you, you will be in union with this person but the lovers also talk about self-love you're going to go going to give this love to yourself you're choosing you you're loving you connected with the spirit connected with the guides also some partnerships if you are in business partnerships so this career is also looks good you're going to get some partnerships with someone three of wands yeah again it's it could be a long distance relationship but also you could be expecting or waiting someone fire sign Aries Leo Sag five of pentacles yeah this could be someone who left you out in the cold ghosted you or you, this could be you because you were not sure about this connection so you're going to get back to this person yeah this could be a fine this year may be financially not good for you it really affected you but things are going to change and be positive because we have the full card yeah this is someone coming back a re-entering in your life this is definitely your lover your soulmate someone that you have a divine connection with and you will be in union with this person or reconciliation because i feel you're waiting for this person if you're not this is a brand new person entering in your life with the full card but this is also traveling a lot of traveling this year 
adventures. We have King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So some of you, you could be artist or you, you're going to meet someone who will be artist, very creative, very adventurer, very loving, very caring. Some of you, this could be your friend that you are in love with. Are they, they are going to express their feelings to you and expect it. King of Cups, yeah. King of Cups. This is a year that you're going to definitely find your true partner, your divine counterpart. They could be a Pisces, um, but Cancer, Scorpio could be Aquarius, Aries. Fire sign, earth sign, any sign, by the way. So this, this looks good for you this year, okay? A lot of you, you could be going to meet new friends. They will be very, very good with you, okay? And you'll be like, okay, this is, this is a year. If you're a creative person, um, you are an artist, or you could be anything, create for yourself. This is a year that you're going to definitely going to free yourself. It's like taking the leap of faith. I told you, getting out of your comfort zone. I'm hearing Leo. Sorry, you could be dealing with Leo. Um, but yeah, Virgo, this is the year that you're going to get out of your comfort zone. You are going to do the things that you never did. Let me tell you. Mark my words. Yeah. You're not being going to be introvert anymore. Or this person, whoever you're connecting with. If they, they are going to take the leap of faith. They're going to get out of their comfort zone. And they will come. They will take the risk on this connection. And you too. Because this is a divinely guided connection. Okay? So this is your reading. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all. Say I'm into this and also expect the good things for this year. Okay, bye. Happy New Year.